I think that there is a, a connection between the military and working on this team because in the military, the focus is teamwork and being able to make sure that all the parts are working together. This team helped me put ideas together and make it into one thing. When I think of something, I think faster than I can like speak. And it's, it's hard for me to like put down what I want to do. But since like all the people on the team are like my friends, they're, like, they're already used to like how I am. They help me articulate my thoughts. The most challenging part of working on this team is trying to get everything done by the deadline. We are getting better at working on deadlines. In the beginning, I was with the marketing team, which does buttons and talks to people. So that can help me with like my personal skills and talking to people, because I used to be really nervous when having conversations with people. But now I feel like I can do that more. From freshman year to this year, uh, freshman to senior, I changed a lot, so I would say I'm now more open because of robotics. He's way better at programming than I. I, ha I know about Boolean logic and I know about those different things, but I don't know the language that we program in. I need him more focused on that to help the other kids, whereas I could help them with the mechanical and the other things and the electrical. Because of the position I was in, I, couldn't, I can't allow myself to be shy and cut off anymore. I have to be stand up in front of the class, uh, give my Lincoln speech, you know. You don't have to be something preset to be what you want to be on the team. There's always a spot, no matter what you can do. If you're an artist, you can draw posters. If you'd like to be like a lawyer, you can read the rule manual so you can fall out. It's just any spot for you. Robotics is like kind of building cars, and I love building cars. And it's kind of, it deals with engineering, so it draw me into it. Pretty much my whole family on my father's side owns a shop, so I help in there when I can. It'd be pretty much small things like uh, change tires, uh, change brakes. When you put something into a car, you get, you get what, what is one result. But when you put something into a robot, it's like you get 10 different results. It's kind of hard, but at the same time, it's just, it just helps you better yourself because it's just all about patience. I've been a father for a long time. And so I approach the way I teach, the way I coach, is that I am this fatherly figure to these people and that I try and instill that trust and that belief in them that they could do those things. With Ms. Diadja actually showed me how to tap a piece of metal and how to screw a screw on. After a while it became natural and I was able to do it on my own. We had a part break on our intake system and we, I couldn't order a new one in time and I, we were trying to figure out what's going on and I had to step out to a meeting and then she ended up coming back to me and was like, oh, it's no problem. I did what he taught me to do, and I just made a new part. On that robot, I built the intake system, which takes in all the balls. I plan to go to college for aerospace engineering. I'm going to the Air Force and taking up engineering in the Air Force. I'm actually interested in forensic science. I just got accepted to University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, and I'm going to do civil engineering.